Yo, YouTube, what's good, brother gang? What's good? We are back with another video. Welcome to another edition of the JRPG Roundup Show. Here on the channel, bringing you all the latest and greatest in all JRPG news. Without further ado, let's stop straight into it, man. So guys, the recent Nintendo Direct that just dropped had some huge JRPG announcements, man. So much news came out from that Nintendo Direct. For me personally, that was probably one of my favorite Nintendo Directs to drop in recent memory, I want to say, man. That was probably a good nine out of 10 for me personally. So many hype moments throughout that whole Nintendo Direct. And in this video, I'll be giving you guys the full breakdown and the full details of all the JRPGs that did drop throughout that Nintendo Direct, so stay tuned. So guys, to start off, we got some news for the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Expansion Pass. So, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Expansion Pass Wave 3 will launch on February 15th, publisher Nintendo and developer Monolith Soft have announced. So here is an overview of the content that is set to come for Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Expansion Pass. So firstly, we have Wave 3, which is coming on February 15th. That will feature a challenge battle mode against difficult enemies, a new hero character and accompanying quests, new character outfits, and then we have Wave 4, which will be coming by the end of 2020. 23, and that will feature a new original story scenario with a new cast. So guys, out of the two announcements that we got for the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 expansion pass, I was super excited and the most hyped for Wave 4, man. And most Xenoblade Chronicles fans will 100% be excited for Wave 4, man. The trailer was absolutely insane, man. Of course, we have some returning characters. So essentially, if you guys have not played um, the previous games as well, I kind of would recommend actually going back and playing those games anyway. If you guys did enjoy Xenoblade Chronicles 3 anyway, that's probably more incentive or more than enough incentive for you guys to go back and play Xenoblade Chronicles 1 and go back and play Xenoblade Chronicles 2. But essentially, Wave 4 is kind of going to be the Founders DLC. So of course, in this trailer as well, which I will be leaving within this video so you guys will be able to see as well if you guys missed it, um, we do have a grown-up version of Shulk and we do have a grown-up version of Rex and those two are looking crazy, man. It looks crazy. Wave 4 is going to be super hype as well, man. Um, we also do have Noah as well. Noah actually bears a um, striking resemblance to Fei Wong from Xenogears. If you guys have never played Xenogears, that's definitely a game I recommend checking out, man. Super, super amazing game. Definitely check that out. So that is Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Expansion Pass Wave 3, which is set to launch on February 15th. And of course, later on in 2023, we will get Wave 4 at some point. So of course, if we do get a release date or anything, you guys will hear from me first as well. Definitely will be giving you guys the news on that. So let's move on to the next piece of news. So we got some more Expansion Pass news coming up for you guys. So Fire Emblem Engage Expansion Pass Wave 2 is now available. Publisher Nintendo and developer Intelligent Systems have announced. So here are the full details about Wave 2 of the Expansion Pass 4 by Emblem Engage. So Wave 2 features newly added emblems including Hector, Emblem of Strength Sorin, Emblem of Acumen and Camilla, Emblem of Revelation to help the Divine Dragon and their allies in battle. Wave 3 will include its own group of Valiant Emblems, Krom and Robin, Emblem of Bonds and Veronica, Emblem of Heroes, you'll be able to tackle additional missions to recruit these Emblems. In Wave 4, a new story, full Xenolog will be unlocked. So guys, I just got done playing Fire Emblem Engage about a week ago, man. That game is absolutely incredible. Definitely lived up to expectation. Was definitely worth the wait as well, man. The combat animations on that game are absolutely incredible, man. I never got tired of watching those. The combat for me personally is probably some of the most fun that I've had in a Fire Emblem game, man. Um, the Emblem Rings, it was so great to see some of the older characters as well from the previous games as well. Shout out to my boy Roy and shout out to Ike as well. And shout out to Leaf as well, man. It was so great. And also shout out to Marth. Big shout out to Marth as well. It was so great to see some of the older characters from the older games man and just being able to use them as well and also being able to use them on different characters as well man they had a beautiful unique set of abilities as well but um that is of course going to be saved for um a review that i might possibly do on fire of engage but of course with the recent release of wave 2 i will be definitely diving into wave 2 when i do get some time on my hands as well i cannot wait to actually dive into that as well of course wave 3 will be coming shortly throughout the year as well and wave 4 will be slowly rolled out throughout the year um i cannot wait for these to drop as well man so that is fire emblem engage the expansion pass of wave 2 is now available for you guys to play so definitely definitely check that out so let's move on to the next piece of news so if you guys remember in a previous edition of the jrpg roundup show there were some rumors going around that there was going to be a HD remaster of Batten Kaitos in development. So those rumors actually came out to be true. So publisher Nintendo and developer Monolith Soft have announced Batten Kaitos 1 and 2 HD remaster for Switch. It will launch this summer worldwide. 
So here is a brief overview of the game via Bandai Namco. Players will have the opportunity to discover or rediscover the emotional journeys of the Baton Kaito series, which features distinct card-based RPG systems that allow for split-second decisions that edges participants closer to victory. Players will take the role of the guardian spirit and guide each game's protagonist and their companions through their journey. So, Baton Kaito's Eternal Wings and the Lost Ocean tells the story of Kalas, who while seeking revenge from the death of his brother and grandfather, meets Shella, as both embark on a journey to defeat the Alphard Empire. Baton Kaito's Origins takes place 20 years before the events of the first game. The story involves Sagi, a spirit that has a connection with guardian spirits who is part of the Dark Service, an elite unit of the Alphard Empire. Sagi sets on a journey to clear his name after being framed and to unveil the Empire's secrets. So here are some frequently asked questions about the game. What is Baton Kaito's 1 and 2 HD Remaster? Baton Kaito's 1 and 2 HD Remaster is a remastered version of Baton Kaito's Eternal Wings and the Lost Ocean and Baton Kaito's Origins, both of which were released on the Nintendo GameCube about 20 years ago. Developed with the goal of delivering the story of Baton Kaito's in a way that is more accessible for the current generation of customers. While staying true to the GameCube version, the game features upgraded graphics, improved usability and quality of life improvements that will enhance the experience of the original work. What enhancements were made to this version of the game? The visual quality of the game has been improved including the user interface and graphics for the main characters and objects in the field. In addition to stabilising the frame rate, Baton Kaito's 1 and 2 HD Remaster introduces new features such as encounters off, auto battle, skip cutscenes and auto save to make it even more accessible to new players. Is there any content added or deleted? There is no additional content for this title, but there is also no deleted content. This is a remastered title that combines two games, Baton Kaito's Eternal Wings and The Lost Ocean and Baton Kaito's Origins into one title. What is the spec information for this title? Based on the GameCube version, this title supports improved aspect ratios and has enhanced graphic expression. So here is the detailed specification information on this game. So the game will be in Japanese, the text languages for Baton Kaito's Eternal Wings and The Lost Ocean will be in English, French, Italian, German and Spanish. Baton Kaito's Origins will only be available in English. The screen resolution will be at TV mode at 1920 by 1080 which works up to 2K resolution. The frame rate for this game will be at 30 frames per second. This game is compatible with the Nintendo Switch Lite. There will be no online functions, no offline functions and no paid downloadable content. The game file size will be at 8GB, microSD, SDHC, SDXC memory cards will be required and the number of saved data firstly for Baton Kaito's Eternal Wings and The Lost Ocean will be 30 and Baton Kaito's Origins will be 30 as well. So guys, for me personally, I am super, super excited for the Baton Kaito's 1 and 2 HD remasters, man. I lost my mind when I saw it during the Nintendo Direct, man. So, so happy that the rumours are true. This series was long overdue for a much needed remaster, man. It's been super, super long. I always felt the Baton Kaito's was always on the wrong system, in my opinion. I never really thought at the time that the game really should have been on the GameCube, to be honest, because the GameCube really didn't have any heavy hitting JRPGs way back then. Um, the console of choice for JRPGs back then was of course the PlayStation 2. But of course it's really good to see that Monolith Soft have actually decided to make this game more accessible for newer players as well. This is definitely a game that I implore people to play and of course for me personally as well this will be my first time actually getting to play Baton Kaito's Origins. So the only Baton Kaito's game that I did play was Eternal Wings and The Lost Ocean way back on the GameCube as well. So I'm definitely hyped to see if when we do actually get an official release date for this game but it's dope to see that the rumours were true man. Super super happy Baton Kaito's 1 and 2 HD remasters will be coming for the Nintendo Switch Monolith Soft have announced this summer worldwide. I'm super, super excited, man. And if we do, of course, get a release date for this game, I'll be on that immediately and you guys will know it immediately first. So let's get on to the next piece of news. So Atlas has announced Dungeon RPG Collection Etrian Odyssey Origins Collection for Switch and PC. It will launch on June 1st worldwide. So here's a brief overview of the game. Create Endless Adventure. Explore the rich beginnings of this RPG franchise with remasters of three timeless adventures that inspire players to go on a journey of discovery. Map in deep dungeons and build in customised parties for exploring and engaging in tactical combat. Play as the leader of a guild of adventurers, searching for rare treasures and secrets within the depths of a vast sprawling labyrinth. Traverse and draw a map of the environment while encountering enemies large and small in turn-based combat, then return to town to rest. Sell materials for better equipment and manage your party selecting from a collection of heroes to build the right team for the job. So here are some of the key features of the game. An all-in-one bundle of Etrian Odyssey HD, Etrian Odyssey 2 HD and Etrian Odyssey 3 HD. Touchscreen mapping functionality for the Nintendo Switch. 
Plot your progress through the labyrinth, drawing walls and placing icons to note special events and items. Full mouse support and functionality to map drawing, menus and dungeon exploration. Newly remastered graphics, remastered soundtrack and quality of life improvements including difficulty selection and save slots. Easy access to the monster compendium, quest log and skill tree. Maximize your adventuring by optimizing your party, choose the characters that work for your playstyle or the best team for the job. So here is a brief overview of each of the games starting firstly with Etrian Odyssey HD. In a vast and fertile land lies a small town known as Etria, a peaceful village that became famous for a starting discovery. A crack in the vast forest opened at Etria's edge, leading downward like a gaping moor, it all began there. Those who hear rumours of the labyrinth of Etria began to harbour dreams of exploring it. Riches, fame, prestige and a promise. The true spirit of adventure on the perilous edge of death. Build a party of explorers from 9 different character classes, create a woodland survivalist, shield bearing protector, whip wielding dark hunter and more. Scour through the dungeons, many layers and fend off the unknown to discover the truth behind the Yggdrasil labyrinth. So moving on to Etrian Odyssey 2 HD. When civilization sunk beneath the seven seas, deep forests spread across the five remaining islands. Only the chosen ones escaped the waters in their castle stronghold. Eventually, the waves overtook even the last five islands and the castle was all that remained. After the passing of ages, the people of the floating castle have chosen to descend upon their mother's soil. Build your own party from 12 different classes of heroes and climb through the Yggdrasil tree to reach the clouds and uncover the truth of High Lagarde. And finally, Etrian Odyssey 3 HD. Traverse through the mysterious ruins that connect to the bottom of the sea. South of the great continents, beyond the sea, lies the ocean city of Armorode. Legend has it that part of the city sunk without warning a century ago to the bottom of the ocean taking with it untold technology that is now lost to mankind. Intrigued by the legend, many explorers gathered in Armour Road, all hoping to challenge the undersea labyrinth. But so far, none have found the fabled sunken city. Set sail to Armour Road to navigate the Yggdrasil labyrinth, find the drowned city and win fortune and glory. Build your own party of explorers from the all new 12 different character classes. Descend the labyrinth that swallowed the mystery of Armored and the drowned city. So there will be Atlas themed DLC that will be coming for this game. I actually think it looks really, really dope, man. Super dope. I will be leaving screenshots on screen so you guys can see as well. So Etrian Odyssey HD character portrait DLC set one will include Joker from Persona 5 and Ringo from Soul Hackers 2. Etrian Odyssey HD character portrait DLC set two will include Demi Fiend from Shimigami Tensei 3 Nocturne and Teddy from Persona 4 and Etrian Odyssey HD character portrait DLC set 3 will include the Nohabino from Shimigami Tensei 5 and Aegis from Persona 3 Portable. So guys, for me personally, I'm super excited for the Etrian Odyssey Origins Collection to come out, man. This is definitely going to be a day one for me, man. I cannot wait to play these games, man. Um, it's been so, so long since I actually did play an Etrian Odyssey game as well. These games are very similar to the uh, Persona Labyrinth games, if you guys are not too familiar with those games as well, especially the art style as well, of course, because this game is made by Atlas as well. So you can definitely see where that art style does come from. So I'm super excited for this game, man. Um, the one thing that caught my eye the most was the DLC sets as as well seeing Joker, Ringo, Demi Fiend and everyone else as well they actually look really really dope man the art style is so so good so so good so that is Etrian Odyssey um, Origins Collection which is coming for Nintendo Switch and PC um, worldwide on June 1st so definitely be on the lookout for this game man so let's move on to the next piece of news so level 5 has announced crime suspense rpg deca police for playstation 5 playstation 4 and switch and it will launch in 2023 worldwide so here's a brief overview of the game via level 5 a mysterious detective story with investigations in a virtual world deca police is a crime suspense rpg from level 5 developers of the latent series the main character a rookie detective named harvard hunts down criminals in a huge open world crime ridden city Travelling back and forth between physical and virtual reality, look forward to a mysterious detective story with investigations in a virtual space. Decacism, a virtual world created for a perfect copy of reality. More than just a simulation, it's a complete copy of a real city, a forbidden place where memories of every past crime lie dormant. Clues found in Decacism can help unravel the riddles of the real world. So guys, I just want to say a big shout to Level 5, man. Level 5 are finally back, man finally finally back i'm super happy for everybody over at level five and the whole team as well man this game looks incredible one game that i was super super hyped for was deca police man when i saw the trailer for this game i lost it man this game looks so so good um actually could actually be better than rain code as well rain code is another detective type of game that is coming out as well this year i believe as well um deca police looks really really good man this game looks insane you guys will of course see from the trailer throughout this video as well um, i'm super super excited for deca police 
these man super happy for everyone at level 5 like I did say as well um, I'm hoping that we do get a release date sooner rather than later as well because this will be a day one for me personally this game looks super unique super amazing the art style is beautiful as well cannot wait for this game to drop so that is level 5 they have announced that Crime Suspense RPG Decker Police will become for PlayStation 5 PlayStation 4 and Switch and that will launch in 2023 worldwide so let's move on to the next piece of news so, Master Detective Archives Raincode will launch for Switch on June 30th worldwide, publisher Spike Chunsoft and developer 2KO Games have announced. So, the company have also revealed the game's package illustration created by character designer Rui Komatsuzaki. So, I will be leaving this on screen as well, the artwork for this game looks incredible man, super super dope of course, from the creators of the Rumper series as well, if you guys are not too familiar with those games as well. So, I will be leaving it on screen so you guys can see, the artwork looks really really good for this game man. So, here are some of the latest details on this game. Advance through the mystery labyrinth to solve cases. Explore the city in a fully 3D environment and find solution keys that will help solve cases. As the investigation progresses, a realm leading to the truth will appear, the mystery labyrinth. Inside, various gimmicks and traps will challenge you. Get to the heart of the case by advancing through the ever-changing maze. Mystery phantoms will try to stop you from unraveling the truth. Dodge their claims and slash through contradictions with the solution blade. Conduct investigations alongside master detectives. Yuma and Shinigami work with master detectives from the World Detective Organization, a group dedicated to solving cases. Each master detective has a supernatural ability known as Forensic Forte. Using these abilities, they are able to gather facts and clues beyond the reach of an ordinary person. Mimic body types and voices with disguise, detect heartbeats and whispers with audio aptitude. Witness past crime scenes with post-cognition, these abilities can be shared with Yuma under the right conditions. Utilize them to get closer to cracking a case. Amaterasu Corporation Amaterasu Corporation is the mega corporation controlling Kunai Ward. They view the World Detective Organization as their enemy. Deeply connected to the unsolved cases, they use their enormous influence to fabricate facts or conceal them when inconvenient and create obstacles to prevent the truth from being revealed. So guys, I remember Raincode getting announced last year at a Nintendo Direct, man. The game looks absolutely incredible, um, super unique as well. One thing I want to say is the art style and how unique this game looks, man. I cannot wait to play it, man. I'm definitely going to be trying this game out 100%, of course. I really do enjoy the Danganronpa games. I enjoy watching them more than I do playing them as well. They are really, really good walkthrough games, I want to say as well. But this game actually gives me the appeal of actually wanting to play the game, similar to the AI Seminium files as well, um, in terms of the art style and then terms of the way the game kind of pulls you in as well I actually do definitely want to check this game out so that is Master Detective Archives Rain Code which is set to launch on June 30th 2023 so definitely be on the lookout for this game so let's move on to the next piece of news so Advance Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Camp will launch for Switch on April 21st publisher Nintendo and developer WayForward have announced so here's a brief overview of the game via Nintendo command an army in strategic turn-based combat as a tactical advisor for the Orange Star Army your expertise is needed as you move land, air and naval units across the battlefield. Take down enemy squads and capture towns and bases to secure victory and keep the peace. Keep an eye on the game changing terrain and the weather as you lead a variety of units across multiple maps. This remake features two campaigns that cover the events of Advance Wars and Advance Wars 2 Black Hole Rising. Fight alongside capable commanding officers. Defend your land with the help of Andy, Max, Sammy and other commanding officers, each with their own specialties and co-powers. Andy can repair units while Sammy can boost the ability of troops. Your opponents can use co-abilities of their own too. Throughout both campaigns, the commanding officers you meet play a critical role both on the battlefield and the story. Recruit some friends and see who the superior strategist is. When you aren't busy keeping the peace in one of the two campaign stories, flex your army commanding chops in versus mode. Up to four players can battle on dozens of maps. Each player chooses a commanding officer from each campaign and strategically uses their commanding officer powers to turn the tides of battle. Customize your combat with options like funds per ally base and fog of war. So guys, it seems like forever and age ago since we heard the announcement about Advance Wars 1 and 2 remasters basically coming to the Nintendo Switch. So I'm finally happy that we actually do have a release date for this game. Um, it seemed like forever and age ago that we actually heard news about this game as well. But it was dope to see in the Nintendo Direct that we finally have a release date for this game. So this game will be coming in April 21st. I cannot wait for this game to drop, man. These were some of my favorite games back on the GBA. This is actually probably my introduction to strategy RPGs as 
as well way back in the day these games were full of charm um, really good gameplay as well the games are really really fun games so definitely when these games do drop I definitely do implore people to check them out man I'm actually really excited I do think I will be picking them up definitely not day one but I will be picking them up in my own time to play as well so that is Advance Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Camp which will launch for Nintendo Switch on April 21st so definitely be on the lookout for this game so let's move on to the next piece of news so Nintendo has released the second official trailer and new screenshots for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom as well as announced that the game will cost $69.99 when it launches. So here is a brief overview of the game via Nintendo.com. An epic adventure across the land and skies of Hyrule awaits in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom for Nintendo Switch. The adventure is yours to create in a world fueled by your imagination. In the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, you'll decide your own path through the sprawling landscapes of Hyrule and the mysterious islands floating in the vast skies above. Can you harness the power of Link's new abilities to fight back against the malevolent forces that threaten the kingdom? So guys, it was dope to see that we got another trailer for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This game is going to be a day one cop for me, man. The graphics on this game, it looks like they've improved the graphics even more and I didn't even think that was even possible coming from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. That game actually looked incredible, such a beautiful game. Most people do say that's probably one of the most beautiful Switch games as well and I 100% agree. The trailer didn't show too much for this game but you can already tell that this game is going to be absolutely epic pick man um, I cannot wait for this game to drop so that is the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom which is due out for the Nintendo Switch on May 12th of course we just got a new trailer for that game as well which you guys will see throughout this video as well and I will be linking down below as well so you guys can check out for yourself so definitely be on the lookout for this game this is definitely a day one cop and it's probably one of the most anticipated games for 2023 as well so let's move on to the next piece of news so guys we finally got an official release date for Sea of Stars so Sea of Stars will launch for PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Switch and PC via Steam on August 29th, developer Sabotage Studio have announced. So as we speak there is a demo now available in the Nintendo eShop, you should definitely go and check that out, definitely go and download that right now. So guys, I did cover the news in a recent video as well about Sea of Stars actually getting a summertime release date and finally we have got an official release date for this game so this game will be coming on August 29th worldwide. I cannot wait for this game man, super super excited for this game. Of course we have music composed by the legendary Yoshinori Mitsudo as well. Um, this game's art style as well looks incredible, um, I cannot wait for this game to drop man. Takes you back to the old school style of JRPGs as well, so definitely looking forward to Sea of Stars. Of course, I actually do need to jump into the demo myself. I do have it downloaded as well. Um, also, there is an Octopath Traveler 2 demo which is available right now that you guys can play as well. That was announced in the Nintendo Direct. So definitely, definitely check that out. I will be covering that in the final segment of this show as well. So that is Sea of Stars which finally has a official release date of August 29th. This game will be coming for PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Switch and PC via Steam. Definitely be on the lookout for this game, man. This is going to be a day one cop for me, 1000%. So let's move on to the final piece of news. So, publisher Square Enix and developer Acquire have released Octopath Traveler 2 Prologue Demo for PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4 and Switch. The PC version will launch via Steam on February 9th. So, the demo allows players to choose any of the 8 protagonists for Octopath Traveler 2 and play for 3 hours. Save data from the demo can be carried over to the full game when it launches. So guys, super super happy that Square Enix did decide to release a Octopath Traveler 2 Prologue Demo man. I was on that immediately as soon as it got announced. Um, I did play through Hikari Story. Now, Hikari is the samurai in the game as well, it kind of takes place in a Japan type setting. Um, this game of course, Octopath Traveler 2's HD 2D graphics never ever get old for me man. The combat of course and the gameplay amazing the game looks so so good hikari story so far i played through it for the first um of course through the prologue part of it already and of course now you can just um free travel you can kind of free explore um leisurely in the three hours that you do have on the game as well um the demo is definitely worth playing 100 i did say this was one of my most anticipated games of 2023 and of course a game that i'm the most excited to play this month as well so this game of course for me is a day one cop i've already pre-ordered this game already um um, Hikari story was really really dope and I do implore people to check out the demo as well since it is available to um, on so so many platforms as well so you guys can check this out on the PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4 and Switch and this game um, this game's demo sorry will be coming to PC via Steam on February 9th so definitely be on the lookout for this um, I cannot wait for this game to drop man super super excited so that'll do it for this edition of the JRPG Roundup show here on the channel guys I really appreciate you guys for watching this was of course a longer video since we had so much news from the Nintendo the 
Direct. Please let me know down below what you'd rate that Nintendo Direct out of 10. For me personally, I'm giving it a nine, man. Solid nine, there were so many great announcements from that Direct and they seem to be getting better and better as the years go by. So please like, sub, share if you're new, hit that notification bell so you get notified of my videos first and I hope I can be you guys number one source for all JRPG news. So for me to you, this has been your bruv, the big bruv and I'm gonna catch you guys on the next video. I'm out, peace.